Hey everybody, welcome to day two of Get Out of the Rat Race Rut. I'm Beth Campbell, career coach and mentor, author, podcaster, speaker, former corporate captive, and now helping you find your work wonderland. If you need somebody to guide you one-on-one -on -one through a career or life challenge, send me a message or go to bethncampbell.com slash coach me. Hopefully my audio today is better. You know, Facebook, Facebook is, you know, I love Facebook, but you know, it's figuring out Facebook and why it does certain things is sometimes a challenge, but thank you so much for being here. If you are watching live, let me know you're here in the comments and where you're um, hailing from. If you are watching the replay, give me a hashtag replay. And of course, make sure to let me know if you have any questions or feedback, and I will take a look at the end to see if there are any comments or questions. Otherwise, um, you can always shoot me something and we'll talk about it on a future episode because we got another 28 of them after this. Hey, Heidi, thanks for coming on, my friend Heidi, who lives in Portugal where it's so beautiful. She, uh, not in Portugal, if you're in the U U.S., happy Labor Day. So um, uh, it is Labor Day here. It's a bank holiday, three-day weekend, a lot of people out grilling. I think my husband's uh, down in the, the backyard getting ready to grill, so I'm kind of excited about that. Today, we're going to talk about goals, corporate goals. No, not those career goals, not the corporate goals. I know the people that are working in a traditional job or especially a professional job, you are like, no, not those goals. The ones that are cascaded down from the executives that don't understand. No, we're not talking about corporate goals, career goals. This is like a bigger vision. What do you want for yourself in your career? What do you really desire? Have you th ever thought about it? Like, do you want a different role? Do you want a similar role without the chaos and the stress? Do you want to work somewhere else, a different company, or maybe just do something different? Do you want to quit your traditional corporate job altogether and be a coach or run a coffee shop? Do you love your job mostly, but you just want to be better or level up or maybe just make a change? Or maybe you're just not even sure what you want to do at all. You just want to earn $250,000 a year. And what does it really look like? What is it that you want to achieve? I mean, really really want to achieve and how do you keep that momentum so that you don't lose track of that goal because we all know about fail goals anybody who's ever done a new year's resolution yes anybody out there yes so you know how a lot of those go go so how do we keep our career vision from becoming just another failed new year's resolution okay so let's first define what is a goal i mean we kind of sort of already know on a high level right we, we kind of know in our mind and um, <laughs> Heidi says she dumped those New Year's resolutions. I know, right? Because they're, you know, oh, just, just who, just, if you've ever, ever achieved your New Year's resolution, put it in the comments because I want to know. But anyway, so let's define what a goal is. I'm going to put my dictionary hat on right now, okay, because I know we know what goals are, but let's just really define it. A goal is simply an aimed desire or result. It is the object of your pursuit or effort. It's an idea that you envision and plan to achieve, something that you desire to come to fruition. And usually this something is, it'll make us better. It will grow. We aspire to something greater and we set a goal so we can define it and then also help achieve it. We generally don't set goals like negative impacts. Like I don't set, set goals to slack off or be lazy or make less money, right? So why are goals important? Well, the main reason is if you don't define what the end state is on anything, I mean, how do you know the right actions to get there? Or if you get ideas, how do you know that they're the right ideas that'll get you to your end state? So think of a goal as like a beacon towards which we move and it determines the paths that we take, it determines the ideas that we get and pursue and the activities and tasks that we complete to achieve whatever it is that we desire. So as an analogy, if I decide I'm going on a vacation somewhere away from home, I need to know where the destination is. Am I going to Cancun or am I taking a week in London? And a, or am I gonna go in a remote cabin in Yellowstone National Park where there are bears? Probably not. But I need to have a picture in my head about this destination because I need to plan and I need to be prepared for what happens along the journey. So I need to plan for my um, how I'm going to travel and maybe map my route. 
I need to pack a suitcase or maybe a backpack, depending on where I'm going. Um, do I need a swimsuit or do I need a snowsuit? Where am I going to stay? What am I going to eat? What activities will I undertake? How much money do I need to bring? And is it cash, cards, or both? Do I need bear spray? Do I need mosquito repellent, sunscreen, or maybe all three? A goal is, is similar. We need to be able to visualize what we want in an end state in order to figure out what inspired activities we need to undertake and what ideas to follow up on to achieve our vision. Otherwise, we don't even know which way to turn when we leave the house. Like you go out of your driveway, which way do you go? So for example, if, if your goal is to stay with a good company and level up to a VP level, you want to be an executive, the tasks needed to accomplish that are probably very different than the ones needed if you wanted to leave your job and start an ice cream shop, right? So I have been learning a lot about goals in the past few months, like more than I really just boggle, mind boggling, um, as I've been working on my mindset around my coaching business. And I'm in this amazing program. It's called Thinking Into Results. It's a business mentorship. It's run by this amazing woman. Her name is Eva Paycheck. I have talked about her in the masterclass, the, her free masterclass that, um, by the way, it, um, runs almost every month. It's coming up again on September 16th. I've talked about it in a lot of social media posts and videos. It's really awesome. V very much changed my life. If anybody's interested, just uh, send me a direct message. I'll give you more info. But um, I'm in now the greater program beyond this masterclass. And one of the most striking things that I've realized through this mindset work is that in order to f for us to stick to our goals, they have to be meaningful. And we have to have some deep connection to them that keeps us committed. So Maybe you have a career goal of becoming an executive for an environmentally friendly company making $400,000 a year. That's a great goal. But what is it that keeps you committed to that goal? The goal itself almost means nothing. It's just words. We have to put some kind of inspiration behind it, something personal that can only be realized when you reach that goal. And by the way, for you for corporate folks, that never happened, right? When you were in work and you got your goals cascaded down, when did you ever even think about it beyond just the words on the paper? Probably for the vast majority of you, never. So, um, you know, maybe in, in this case, you've got your, your goal of being a, a VP for $400,000 a year at an environmentally friendly company. And your inspiration is you want to have a lot of cash so you can pay for a vacation house on the shore of Lake Michigan. That Maybe that might be my goal. Um, or my, my inspiration, no salt, no sharks, no worries, Lake Michigan. So you can spend summers with your family and friends. You can walk along the beach and collect rocks and make memories. Or maybe your goal is to have a flexible, like part-time schedule working from home for a company with an employee first culture. You've got an awesome servant leader boss. He supports you or she supports you and champions for your fulfillment. Your inspiration might be well, you have a special needs child and you want to be able to spend mornings with them at home, taking care of them and not put them in a, a you know, a, a special daycare all day. You get to bond with your child. You have less stress. Life is great. So when I set a goal, I attach some inspiration that's very meaningful to me that helps me com keep committed to my goal. And then I can, in I can visualize those inspirations that keep me in the right mindset or the right frequency to stay inspired and then attract the things that help me reach the goal. It helps me stay motivated and it helps me also receive ideas because I'm in that right, right mindset, that right frequency, vibration. So as an example, my goal with inspiration might be like this. And um, I always write these, this is like manifestation 101, just write these in present tense as if they're, out, if they're, as if they're already happening. So my goal might be I earn $200,000 a year as a badass entrepreneur with multiple creative income streams, including writing best-selling books, speaking, and career coaching. I have tons of cash for house improvements, like my new huge covered front porch with white railing, French doors leading from my office to the porch, a big bed swing that my dog Moxie likes to take naps in. I love sitting out on the porch, smelling the gentle summer rain and hearing the sound of those raindrops on the roof. So that porch vignette is attained when my goal is reached. That inspiration is important to me and it keeps me focused and committed and then more likely to achieve the goal. So, so for some of you, it might be something like, 
I earn $175,000 as a senior project manager for a company where I have a flexible 40 hour max work week with a great team and boss. I have plenty of cash to support my daughter's travel volleyball team in the summer and the flexibility to coach my son's soccer team after work. And on weekends, we enjoy our new heated pool with family and friends. Goal, inspiration, achieved. Having that inspiration attached to your goal can pivot you from half-assed thought about your future, which is probably what you've done in most of your um, corporate, certainly your corporate goals, or maybe no thought at all, to believing that you will achieve it because you've defined it well and you've identified what really resonates with you emotionally to keep you on the path. So for those of you out there, if you're not happy in your career, maybe even if you are, you just want something different, defining that goal or vision in the right way can help you determine what you should do to be more fulfilled or achieve a higher level of fulfillment, depending on your, your situation. So how often do you think about your career goals, your career vision? Take some time today, write down your vision for your career future. Like think big, like what do you really want? How much money? What type of work? What is the atmosphere like in the environment that you work in? What type of people do you work with? How do they make you feel? What will make you happy and fulfilled? And then think, what will, be life, what will life be like when that goal is achieved? What will you have? What will you experience? How do you feel when that goal is achieved? Think about what really resonates emotionally and write that down as your inspiration. Now, think about it. Repeat it every day, multiple times a day. Focus on it and watch it come to fruition. All right, so once you've written down your career vision with your emotional inspiration, come back to this session. Let me know what your goal is in the comments. And of course, if you need help putting together that goal, send me a DM or go to bethancampbell.com slash coach me and we'll see how we can make magic together. Okay, I'm going to go to the comments and see what we got here. Heidi Medina, thank you. Happy Labor Day to um, those of you out there grilling or maybe at the beach or hopefully uh, not fighting traffic later because Labor Day traffic, whew, I'm going to have good thoughts for you people that are traveling here. So, all right. I don't see any other comments. So once again, today's lesson, what are the takeaways? You need a goal or vision for your big career desires. And that vision needs some inspirational backbone to keep you motivated, focused, and committed. So tomorrow, I'm going to tell you about an activity that you can do to help manifest your career goal or vision. It's called My Ideal Workday. It incorporates your goal and some additional inspirational touches to put your manifestation on steroids. It's a lot of fun. It's like goal plus inspiration and some other stuff. And it's, um, it's just, it's a lot of fun. I've done a lot of these over the years and this is kind of a little specific to work and it's just a lot of fun. Don't forget to connect with me here on Facebook or LinkedIn if not already. Thank you so much for joining Get Out of the Rat Race Rut. You are here because you are a badass. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. See you tomorrow.